In this section, we'll be discussing Scala's smart strings. Smart strings are a wonderful string construct that makes development a pleasure to work with in the Scala programming language, mostly because it gives us things like multi lines and sane regular expressions. So let's start off with a file called Smart String Scala, where we'll create a multi line string in the old classical way. So let's jump over to our editor. Now let's get started here, and we'll get started with some lyrics. So let's create some lyrics. Let's break out the Louis Armstrong. So let's start off here with, uh, I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. All right, let's go ahead and save this as smartstrings.scala. And uh, let's finally do a print line on this. And uh, we should be good to go. All right, so there is our multi-line. This is the old classic Java way of creating a line each. We have to put carriage returns on this. We have to add plus at the end of each line. It can get kind of messy. So let's run this at the command line and smart strings dot scala and looks fantastic the only problem is it doesn't look quite as fantastic on the scala source code itself there are a lot of quotes again there are a lot of new lines so let's clean this up using a smart string now with smart strings the only toll you have to pay is that you need triple quotes at the end of the line but you can get rid of these quotation marks and you could also get rid of, so let's do a quick search here, of all the new lines with the quote and the plus. There we go. So we have, I see trees of green, red roses too. Let's make this a little bit more in line. What I'm using here is a visual block. There is something similar in IntelliJ and Eclipse. It's called insert mode. Take a look at your documentation and do something like this really makes programming a lot easier. Okay, there's our smart string. A little bit cleaner, let's run it. Now as we see with the result, I see trees of green is flush to the left border, but we have some space before the red roses too and all the other subsequent lines. So let's go back to the code. We have an issue, and the issue is that Scala is merely doing what we told it to. And we have this large block of line and all Scala is doing is interpreting these blank lines and putting them at the command line whenever we run our code. So my attempt to make my code look nice in the editor caused it to look different on the command line. Instead of cutting all this space out, leaving my code ugly on the editor, let's tell the smart string where the margins truly begin, and let's add a method to the end of smart string called strip margin. Let me use that column mode again, just because it makes things a little easier. I'm going to put a pipe in front of all this. And at the end, I'm going to call strip margin. Strip margin will use that pipe or the or symbol as the default indicator of margin. Let's go ahead and run this. Great, everything is now flushed to the left-hand side. Now I could enjoy beautiful code in both my editor and my command line. Now, what if I wanted to try a different delimiter for the margin instead of the pipe or the or symbol? Strip margin will accept any character that you give it. Let's say we wanted to replace all of these with an at sign. And what we can do is add that character as a parameter to strip margin. Let's run this. Good stuff. Let's go back to the source code and take a good look at it. So instead of a pipe again, I am using the at sign. All I have to do is just specify as a method parameter to strip margin that I wish to use the at sign. There's an additional bonus when using smart string, and that has to do with regular expressions. So let's do up a regular expression. I'm going to create a message, and the message will be we are meeting on June 13th of this year and having lunch at 12.30 p.m. Now what I'd like to do is I'd like to create a regular expression. And what I want to do is I want to pluck out of this string the 12.30 p.m., the time. So we start off with something optional. So let's say that any space or zero through nine for the hour, 
The hour might be optional in case it's like 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock. That's optional. And we have 0 through 9. Of course, we need a colon. And now for the minutes, that could be 0 through 5 for the first number. And let's say 0 through 9 for the second. We'll need a space, perhaps 0 more spaces, followed by whether it's AM or PM. So there's our regular expression to extract the time from the string. To make a regular expression out of a string, we are only going to call a method called R, which stands for regular expression. The problem with this, though, and the problem with a lot of strings in Java, is we have these double backslashes. And by nature, within a Java string, if we want to create a backslash, we have to do two of them. With smart strings, let's go ahead and convert this over to a smart string, we can get rid of the extra backslashes. We can now just focus on the pure regular expression without any extra annoyances. If you're curious about how to use this as a regular expression, let's print out the match. So we're calling this regex find all in within this particular message. And let's convert it to a list. You need the list that way everything is displayed out in a nice way. Find all in will take that regex and find all instances within a particular string. When we run this, you'll see here at the bottom line, this says list uh, 12.30 p.m. There was only one instance of a time within this sentence. With Scala, we can focus on what we want, and we don't have to tiptoe through a bunch of different rules like the double backslash escape in regular expressions. Smart strings gives us multi-line functionality without breaking up this string and putting a bunch of new line characters. Smart strings also gives us the ability to add margins into our code with a method called strip margin. Strip margin uses a pipe or an or operator, if you want to call it that, by default. Strip margin also uses another character if we wish. We just need to provide that with strip margin. Smart strings are absolutely amazing for things like regular expressions by making it easier to escape characters.